Hey guys, in this video, I'll show you how I was able to design an exact replica of email signup forms designed by Nike and Puma's official website on the user's exit intent. So the first time I was shown an email signup form from Nike's official website, I felt I felt tempted to actually sign up. So instead, I decided if I like it that much, perhaps you would too. So this is me sharing with you how they did it. Starting out with requirements, we'll be needing a pro version of Elementor to achieve this. So with that in mind, let's get on with it. From our dashboard, let's hover over template and select add new. And that should prompt this pop-up. So I will select the template type we'll be working with, which in this case will be pop-up. And then title this Nike sign up form. Next, select create template. Now we should be brought to the design canvas, presenting us with a number of already designed templates we can pick from and make customizations to. But since we already have a design concept in mind, I will just close this up. We should present us with a clean design layout we can start off with. So the very first step we want to take will be making customizations to the pop-up settings page before starting out adding and designing our widget. To do this, let's click on the pop-up settings icon. Now for the layout width, let's change this from 640 to 425. Next, the layout height, let's change this to custom and the custom height set to 575. The content position will be set to the center, horizontal and vertical positions will be left to the center. For the overlay and close button, we want them both toggled to show. Next, we have the entrance animation. We don't want anything too flashy, so I'll just leave this set to fade in and the on exit fade out. For the animation duration, we can leave that set to 1.2 seconds. There isn't much to do in the general and preview settings, so I'll just leave them set to default. Moving on to style, for the background type, set this to classic and the background color set to white. The overlay and close button I will leave to default, although the color set for the overlay will be a hashtag 60 and a double C. If you wanted to make customizations to the close button, you can do that here. Now the last setting we want to make customizations to will be the content padding. And the reason for this is because we have the content more aligned to the center rather than spanning across the entire pop-up. So let's head to advanced, unlink all values for the padding, and I would set the top to 5 pixels, the right to 25 pixels, the bottom to 15 pixels, and lastly the left set to 25 pixels. So with this, we can get on with adding in our widget into this section. Alright guys, so once we've done that, the next thing we want to do will be adding in a new section. So I'm just going to click on this icon that says add new section. And the structure type will be just one column. So I'm just going to select that. And now we can start out adding in our widget into this column. Now for us to do that, I simply need to head on to our widgets panel. And the very first widget we want to add in will be an image. Now if I head on to Nike's official website, we can see in here we have an image as our first widget. So for us to do that, I simply need to drag in an image widget into this column. And now we simply need to choose an image. So I'm just going to select choose image and I'll be picking this and then click on insert media. Now you might be wondering how I got the precise image dimension. If I head on to choose an image, we can see in here we have 40 by 40 pixels. Now for us to get a precise image of icons, we can simply head over to icons8.com. And that should bring us to this page. So I just need to head over to search icons and search for Nike. And obviously we want to click on the search bar. And now we can see we have a wide range of icons we can pick out from. Now the one I actually used here will be this particular image icon. So I can just click on it and that should open up this interface. So all we need to do is click on download. Obviously we can make customizations to this and we simply need to click on one of these options to open that up and say for example we wanted this to be red, wanted this to be yellow, we can simply make that adjustment but for the sake of this video we are going with the black so I just need to click on that and then select download and like I said we will be going with 40 pixels by 40 pixels. So heading back to icons8.com we can just head over to custom and then change this from 100 to 40 pixels. So once we've done that, just click on the check mark icon and then select download. And now we can see we have the icon downloaded to our device. I'm just going to close this up and cancel this out. And now I just need to select this and then click on insert media. Now once we've inserted the image in there, we don't necessarily have to make any customization here. If we decided to change the size to full, 
that's not really going to make any difference so i'm just going to leave pretty much everything as is if you wanted to add your links here you can just change this from none to custom url and then putting your website url in there we're not going to be making that customization so i'm just going to change this from custom url to none if we head on to style there isn't much to do here so i'm just going to leave pretty much everything as is now heading on to our widgets panel the next widget we want to add in will be a heading so i can just drag this directly under our image widget and now we can change the title from what it is to what we have on nike's official website and what we have here is be the first to know so i'm just going to head back to our design canvas and change this to be the first to know or cap locks now once we've done that there will be no need adding any link in here so i'm just going to leave that as is the size we want to leave to default html tag h2 what we want to do will be aligning this to the center so i'm just going to center align this and now we can start out making customizations to our heading so i'm just going to head on to style and for the text color we want to change this to black so i'm just going to click on that icon and then change this to black and for our typography select this pencil icon and for the font family we're going to be using anton so I'm just going to select Roboto and search for Anton and let's select that. And for the font size, we're going to change this to 22 pixels. And for the font weight, we want to make this 500. So I'm just going to select 500. Now, the next thing we want to do will be adding in a letter spacing between our text in here. As we can see, this is a little bit clustered. So let's just quickly make customizations to that. So heading on to our letter spacing, we want to change this from what it is to 1.5. So I'm just going to put in 1.5 in there and we can see this is much more presentable. Now the next thing we want to do will be adding in another heading directly underneath our first heading. So I'm just going to head on to our widget panel, drag the heading directly underneath this. And now if we head on to Nike's official website, we can see in here we have sign up for Nike's email to be the first to see inspiring content, news and official offers. So I'm just going to copy all of this head on to our design canvas, highlight all of this, and then paste that in here. Now, if we take a look at this, we can see we have a break in between C and then inspiring content. So for us to do that, let's head on to our design canvas. And in here, we simply need to put in this special character. I'm going to be displaying that on screen so you can just replicate the same as I do in here. And then put in a BR in between. And now we can see we have that break directly in between C and inspiring content. So just as we did for our first heading, there'll be no need to making customization to the link, size, and HTML tag. What we want to do again will be aligning this to the center. So I'm just going to center align this, and now we can move on to styling our text. Now for us to do that, we simply need to head on to style. And for the text color, we simply need to click on this box icon. We want to change this from what it is currently to hashtag 8D, 8D, 8D. So that would be triple 8Ds. All right, once we've done that, let's move on to typography. So I'm just going to click on this pencil icon. We're going to change this from Roboto to Helvetica. So let's just come on to search and search for Helvetica. Okay, so that's it. So I'm just going to select that. And for the font size, let's make this 15 pixels. And for the font width, we want to change this from 600 to 500. The next thing we want to do, instead of having to make customizations to the letter spacing, we want to add in height to our fonts. We can see in here, these texts are pretty close to each other. So the line height we want to go with will be 22 pixels. So I'm just going to put that in there. Now, the next thing we want to do will be adding in our forms. So if we head on to Nike's official website, we can see we have the forms widget in here. So I'm just going to head on to our design canvas and then select the widgets panel. So I'll just search for the forms widget and then drag this directly underneath our second heading. And once that is placed, we can see this is coming together pretty nice. Now, the next thing we want to do will be getting rid of the name and message. So if we head on to Nike's official website, we can see we have emails, date of birth, and then shopping experience. So the name and message item will be needed in this case. So I'm just going to cancel this and then cancel out the message item. Now, let's open this up. And what we have here is email address. So let's change the label from email to email address. So I'm just going to put that in there. And the placeholder as well is also email address. Let's quickly do that. I'm just going to put that in there. And obviously we want to make this required. So I'm just going to leave that as required. And for the column width, let's make this 100%. 
Now the next item we have will be date of birth. So I'm just going to head on to our design canvas and then click on add new item. And for the item type, let's change this from text to date. So I'm just going to select the date item and for the label, what we have here is date of birth. So I'm just going to head on to our design canvas and for the label, let's change this to date of birth. Now, the next thing we want to do in here will be adding in a placeholder. So just as we have here, we have month, date, and year. Now, if we head on to our design canvas and then I put in mm forward slash dd, which is day forward slash. Now, this won't be our preferred choice because if we take a look at Nike's official website, we can see we have this particular icon in here. Now, what this does is if we select that, we have the option to actually pick out dates instead of having to put in the figures in here. For us to actually achieve that, let's head on to our design canvas and I'm just going to delete all of this. I want to make this required. So I'm just going to toggle that on. Now, if we take a look at this, we can see whenever we make any customizations to this, that item appears and disappears. And the magic trick here is to activate this native HTML5. So whenever I toggle that to yes, we can see that particular icon comes up. And now if I select that, we can see we have the exact replica as we do on Nike's official website. So we can simply navigate around this and then pick out a date instead of having to impute that manually. The next thing we want to do will be making customizations to the column width. So what we have here is having this set to the column width of 50%. So heading back to our design canvas, I'm going to change the column width from 100 to 50%. And that gives room for our second item, which in this case would be the select item. So heading back to our design canvas, I'm just going to add in a new item. And for the item type, this time we want to go with select. Okay, so for our label, we have shopping preference. So heading back to our design canvas, I'm just going to put that in there real quick. Okay, so once we have that in, we want to toggle the required to yes. And now we can put in our options in here. So the first thing we have there was men's and then women. So I'm just going to put that in there. Okay, so once we've done that, the next option here will be multiple selection. If we toggle this, yes, we can see how that looks. Now that's not our preferred choice. So I'm just going to toggle this to no. For our column width, let's change this to 50%. So that's pretty much all we need to do for our items. So I'm just going to close this up. And now we can start out making customizations to this. So for the input size, we want to leave this set to small. And for the label, if I toggle this to hide, we can see that simply gets rid of the label. We want that. So I'm just going to toggle that to show. And for the required mark, we want to change this from hide to show. Now the next thing we want to do will be adding in our text to the sign up button. So heading back to our design canvas, let's open this up. And the size we want to leave this set to small since we left the forms width to small. So I'm just going to select small. For the column width, obviously we want to leave this to 100%. And the alignment, we want to justify this. Now for the next and um, previous text, we can just leave that as is. Now this is what we want to concern ourselves with, which will be the submit. So I'm just going to change the text from what we have here, which is send to sign up. Okay, so once we have that in there, there will be no need adding an icon, but if you wanted to, you can simply select the icon library, pick out a particular icon and then click on insert. And that should automatically reflect in here. Now for this options, which is the actions after submit. I'm not going to be going in depth into this. So if you wanted to learn more on the actions after submit, I'll be leaving a link in the description box below. So you can just check that video out after you're done designing this. Okay, so since we're not going into this, let's move on to making customizations to our forms widget. So I'm just going to head on to style. And for the column gap, we want to leave this set to 10. For the row gap, we want to make this 20. Now moving on to label, for the label spacing, that is the spacing between our label and the fields, we simply need to change this to 5. So for the test color of each of our labels, we want to change this from what it is currently to black. Moving on, we want to change the mark color from what it is currently, which is red to black. So just as we have on Nike's, we have this set to black. So I'm just going to head back to our design canvas and change this from red to black. For the label typography, let's click on this pencil icon. And for the font family, we want to leave this set to Roboto. For the font size, we want to make this 13 pixels. Font width, let's change this from 400 to 500. So that's pretty much all we need to do in here for our label. 
So let's move on to the field settings. So for our field text color, we want to change this to black. And for the typography, we want to click on this pencil icon. The font family, we want to leave that set to Roboto. Font size, we want to make this 14 pixels. And for the font weight, we want to leave that set to 400. Okay, so that's pretty much all we need to do in here. So I'm just going to come out of that. And for the background color, we want to leave this set to white, obviously. And now for our border color, let's change this from default to hashtag CB, CB, CB. So that will be three CBs. Moving on, we want to set the border width to one pixels around. And the border radius, we want to set this to two. And that's pretty much all we need to do in here for our field settings. So I'm just going to close this up and then open up the buttons option. And the first thing we have here will be our typography. So I'm just going to click on this pencil icon. And for the font family, we want to change this to Anton and select that. And for the font size, we want to make this 16 pixels. The font weight, we want to leave this set to 500. And the last thing we want to do in here will be adding in a letter spacing, just as we did for our first heading. So I'm just going to put in two in here. So that's pretty much all we need to do in here for our typography. For the body type, we won't be needing that, so we'll just leave this set to none. And now for our button background color, we want to change this to black. Now the next option we have here will be our text color. Obviously, we want to leave this set to white. The previous button, this isn't necessary, but then you can also change this to black. And that's pretty much all we need to do in here. So black, white, black, and white. So for the body radius, just as we did for the fields, we want to change this from what it is currently to 2 pixels. Now if we head on to Nike's official website, we can see we have more spacing in between our buttons and then our items. So if we head on to our design canvas, we can see we have this pretty close to each other. So for us to actually make that happen, we are going to be applying a CSS to this widget. So I'll be leaving a link in the description box below. So you can just copy the code and then paste that into the field I'm going to show you right now. We just want the CSS applied to this widget, so I'm just going to head over to Advanced. And under Custom CSS, we want to open that up. And we simply need to paste that in here. And now we can see we have the exact same spacing as we have here, compared to that we have on Nike's official website. Okay, so once we've done that, we can now move on to adding in our last widgets we have on our sign-up form. So I'm just going to copy this, head on to our design canvas, and then select the widgets panel. Now this time we'll be using the text editor, so I'm just going to drag this directly underneath our forms widget. And I'll simply paste that in there. Coming back to Nike's official website, we can see we have a break in between and and terms of use. So heading back to our design canvas, for us to do this, I simply need to toggle from visual to text. So I'll hit the space bar on my keyboard and then put this in there. And in between, put in a PR. And that should automatically take care of that. So let's move on to visual. And what we do have here is we have the privacy policy underlined and that's a clickable link. And also we have the terms of use on the line and that's a clickable text. So heading back to our design canvas, I'm just going to highlight all of this and then select on the line. The next thing we want to do will be adding in a link. So I'm just going to click on this. For the sake of this video, I'm just going to put in a hashtag. Next, we want to click on apply and the same goes for terms and conditions. Underline this, select the insert link, put in a hashtag and then select apply. Okay, now once we've done this, we can see we have our color in there changed to blue. So for us to actually change this back to black, we can just highlight all of this and select our text color and change this to black. And automatically that should reflect on our text. Now moving on to styling this, alignment, we want to align this to the center. And since we've already made customization to the text color in our content, we're just going to leave that as is. Now for the typography, let's click on this pencil icon. And for the font family, let's change this from Roboto to Helvetica. Okay. For our font size, let's make this 12 pixels. And for the font weight, let's change this from 400 to 500. Now the next thing we want to do in here will be adding in a default spacing between our widgets. So I'm just going to click on this column and right here for our widget spacing, we have this set to 20 by default. What we want to do will be changing this to 35 pixels. 
Lastly, we'll be adding in a blur or glass morphism effect to this background, just as we have on Nike's website. So for us to do this, I'll head on to the URL glassmorphism.com or I could search for glass morphism CSS generator and the link to Hi4 Academy would be what you want to click on. Now once this loads up, we'll need to change the values here starting out with the blur value. Instead of actually manipulating values going back and forth, I will just show you the values I felt were the right fit compared to what we have on Nike's website. So for the blur value, I will leave this set to 4.0. However, you could slide through this and you can see the effect applied to the design sample here. With the 4.0, we can still partially see what's happening at the background. For the transparency, I'll be setting this to 0.05. Next, I want to remove the outline from this plane here. And lastly, change the color from white to black. Once you've got all settings right, just click on the Copy CSS button. Head back to the Design Canvas. Click on the entire pop-up settings icon. Head on to Advanced. Open up the Custom CSS settings. And this will be the field we want to paste the code we just copied. Now, if I paste the code in here, we can see this doesn't take effect. And that's because Elementor doesn't understand the rules you just applied. To make it understand, first we need to take a closer look here. And this says use selector to target wrapper element. So what this means is before you add in your CSS code, you need to impute this text selector. Hit your spacebar, enter the special character, and then hit enter on your keyboard. And in between will be where we want to add in the CSS code we copied. So I'll just paste that in there. And now we can see the CSS code has taken effect. But then we have a little bit of concern here, which would be the box shadow surrounding our pop-up. If you're okay with that, you can leave it. Personally, I'm more of a minimalist when it comes to designs. So to remove that, head on to style. And right here with the box shadow, I'll simply hit the back to default icon. And with that, we should be solid with the design from here, since that takes the box shadow out of the equation completely. Now, once all is set and done, let's condition this to appear on our website on a page exit intent. To do this, I will click on publish. Conditions will be making this appear on the home page, so I'll select Add Condition, change this from Entire to Singular, and All Singular to Front Page. Next, we want to toggle the On Page Exit Intent to Yes, and I'll be leaving the rest as is. The next settings under Advanced Rules will be to toggle on Show Up on X Times. Why I recommend doing this would be to make sure not to keep bombarding my users every time they land on my website. So I'll just set this to appear once to each user, or else I'll update the information on the sign up form. Now, if the count is set to unopen, this will allow the pop-up to open only once with the assumptions of incognito browsers or, or another browser entirely. However, if the count is set to unclose, the pop-up will keep appearing until the user closes it themselves using the close icon. Personally, I will go with unopen, so regardless of the user closing it or not, it appears to the user just once. Next, I'll toggle the show on device to yes. We want this appearing on all devices, except on mobile devices. So I'll toggle that to yes, with this also set to all browsers, then save and close. Now when I head on to my website and try to exit this page, we can see the pop-up and also the blur effect will apply to the background. And now we can take a close comparison between this and that of Nike's and I can say we did pretty good. So that's pretty much it guys, if you like this video, I really appreciate if you hit the like button and subscribe if you'd like to see more useful content like this. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next one. You gotta focus on yourself, on your faith, on your dreams, on your mind, on your health, yeah. You gotta work, never tell, keep your head down, find what you love and excel.